that mm. sloping ridge there. Okay, okay. That uh, lighter gray triangular rock that's exposure of rock with the snow at the base of it is part of the neck of this volcano. It's the very uppermost portion. At the bottom there? Yeah, you see where the snow is, and then there's a, a big mass of, of fairly light gray rock that kind of makes a wedge like this, like the front of an iron, kind of going up through the rocks. And it's all kind of, doesn't have any layering to it whatsoever. Whereas off to the right, you see all those relatively horizontal red and tan layers. That's the neck and the snow line up to where it kind of peaks out underneath before it gets to, it doesn't get all the way to the top. And then on that line above it, that light. That light line, is that like a pumice line? Yeah, that's some pumice up in there. And the red stuff is cinder. So those are pyroclastic layers in there. Some of those pyroclastic layers show over on this hill over to the left here. And it's got a sort of wiggly lava flow in the middle of it. That may actually be uh, some sort of dike by the looks of it as I look at it more closely because there's some tan underneath and tan above and it's kind of cutting through both of the tan oh, yeah. layers so it's cutting through something that that means the tan was there before so it's either a dike it could be considered a sill it's fairly close to paralleling the other layers Separating. Is it action that separates these? Yeah, yeah, when we get up just beyond where sort of the notch in the trees here is where the rest of the group is, it turns around this way and you can see the, the terminal moraine just like broken top. Uh, so the glacier was kind of facing more or less to the north or northeast and came mostly down the valley over that way. Some of it may have come down this way. This could be part of uh, some glacial till in here or glacial uh, lateral moraine material. But the bulk of it, the U-shaped valley, is over just over this ridge in, in the true canyon meadow. And 